Good morning, folks. Feeling pretty well, uh, relaxed and uh, rested. So I'm going to hit the road here. It's about three, three and a half hours to Joshua Tree, and I will do some filming there. I'm not sure how long of a hike I'll be able to manage, but uh, I will do my best. And uh, either way, I'm going to make it a great day. Okay, we are here at Joshua Tree National Park. It was a pretty long drive. I am uh, feeling a bit tired, but we made it all the same. And uh, we're gonna check out some things here. Again, I don't think I'm gonna do anything too strenuous in terms of a hike, but uh, I'm at least gonna get out, walk around, and uh, see what I can't see. All right, I'm on the first trail here. This is the Cottonwood Spring Trail. And uh, this is one of the only oasises, I believe, oases, uh, that's here in Joshua Tree. It's kind of in the middle of the desert. And uh, this one is a very, very short walk. So uh, excited about that. And uh, I've been drinking plenty of water today. So I am gonna go on, I believe it's like a 1.1 mile round trip hike later. And, uh, yeah, so that, uh, I'll definitely be bringing some water for that one, but uh, right now we're just gonna enjoy the hike and uh, the scenery here is crazy. The amount of birds that are out here is uh, just ridiculous. So pretty excited to see the oasis and check it out. Okay, so back in the car, I asked some rangers uh, on the way back here. I was having some trouble finding the oasis. I was like, where is the water? Uh, I talked to some rangers. They said, you really can't see the water. So the vegetation there is what's pretty cool, but uh, the birds are, are pretty cool. Saw a couple of cool salamanders, uh, but as far as actual water goes, they said it's really, really not easy to see. And this time of year, even harder. So uh, I'm gonna keep moving, hit the next trail, and uh, yeah, just keep seeing what I can. Okay, so just another quick pit stop here. This is the Chola Cactus Garden. These things are pretty freaking cool and there are, has to be in the thousands if not more. Um, it's so bright, it's so sunny out here and uh, the atmosphere is just super, super cool. I mean, take a look at these things. Epic. All right guys, so we just did Skull Rock and now we are here at Keys View. Um, this place is pretty fantastic. Joshua Tree reminds me a lot of like a uh, Dr. Seuss book or something like that, the unique uh, environment and atmosphere. And right there's one of the Dr. Seuss trees behind me. Uh, but yeah, it's pretty cool and definitely easy to do, even if you can't hike. I think there's only one really long hike here and everything else is pretty much drive up and see it. So it's a, uh, 
definitely a good park to go to after a concussion. Okay, last hike of the day here. We're going out to Barker Dam. Um, I saw some pictures online of this place and it looks pretty incredible. We're losing daylight here. It's uh, not even five o'clock, but uh, I think just the sun going down behind the mountains and all of the different rock fixtures here makes it seem a lot more like nightlife. So uh, this is only a mile loop, so it'll only take me about 30 minutes. But uh, yeah, hopefully I get some good footage of this place and you can at least see it in somewhat daylight. Okay, so behind me is the dam, and uh, apparently, since it hasn't rained in California in a long time, there's no water, so there's no water anywhere here. Um, gonna make my way back around the loop and call it a day. I'm gonna head to Palm Springs, which is where I'll be staying for the night, and I will get up tomorrow and figure out what I'm gonna do. I have a couple different options, but I will keep you all posted. In the meantime, keep it candid.